Have you met him face to face yet? No. So we're officially here in one of my least favorite cities in the country. Uh, never will you find a bigger hive of scum and villainy. Washington, D.C., the heart of the swamp. Last night I had the opportunity to be on Tim Pool, which is pretty cool. And then Brandon over here says, New Mexico just banned by decree uh, uh, carrying weapons. And I'm like, no, 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 that's wrong, that's wrong. Googled it and I'm like, no, this is just some kind of like platitude. This is some kind of... And then uh, Brandon's like, nope, Santa Fe, New Mexico. It literally here it just came up in my Instagram feed. Sure enough, looked into it, and that's exactly what it seems like just happened. I liked him. He was a sharp guy to talk to. The operation he's got out there is really kind of cool. They've got a nice little setup. But while I'm in the area, I've got some meetings today in D.C. proper. So that's what my day looks like today. So it's going to be a day full of meetings that I have to take on Capitol Hill, which is not a thing I ever thought I would say outside of a court hearing. The weight of this building hits a little different with, you know, the stuff that we've got going on today. It's it's kind of different from the, the previous times, of course, I've been to D.C. You know, you're more tourist mode, you want to see the history, you want to see all the, the monuments and such, but it it feels a little different now. The, the weight of the building can't be overstated, too, considering that the decisions made in that building back there over the course of American history have directly contributed to millions of deaths. Decisions that might have been right, that might have been wrong, that might have been necessary. Everything was decided right there in that building. And that's kind of a strange thought. By the way, the building is cut kind of into three sections. You've got your big middle area here. Obviously, everybody knows that. But over here on this side is where uh, the Senate meets. And over on to this side, that is where the House of Representatives convenes. So since I'm running for Texas House District 23, that is potentially my future office. It's bizarre to say out loud. It's also the dwelling of several of the most corrupt people on the planet. So let's go meet a few. And by meet a few, I mean meet a few of the good ones, if there is such a thing. Thanks for taking the time to do this, man. Yeah, absolutely. So this would be the walkway to go to the Capitol, and mm -hmm. this is the under, underground hallway to go to some of the other office buildings. So, nice. This is some of the underground connects the whole To the belly of the beast. Imagine like Tony's here. Hey, Tony, good to find the new chip. Have you met him face to face yet? No. There it is. There it is. Representative Tony Gonzalez of Texas. Tony, welcome, please come in. <laughs> don't mind if I do. What's up, Tony, you don't wanna talk? I can't help but notice Tony's office is right next to the House Staff Fitness Center. But somehow he never seems to actually get there and lift anything. Curious. So that was my first post-announcement trip to D.C. Honestly, it felt a little surreal. In the past trips I've gone to D.C., you know, everything was from a very outside-looking-in kind of perspective. But now it feels kind of different in an inexplicable way. And not only because Politico is apparently watching your every move. Yeah, that part's, uh, it's, it's kind of weird. But aside from the business element of having some very good meetings with, I think, some people that are going to be very helpful for us going forward in the campaign, it's, um... I don't know, it's really driven home the gravity of uh, exactly what we've undertaken here. It's one thing to file the paperwork and think of all this as like a hypothetical. And it's another thing entirely to stare at the building where the future of the United States will be decided. And I just hope to the best of my ability I'll be able to fill that role as somebody who honors the Constitution and actually wants to make decisions not based off of money or personal gain, but just off of what I believe to be right for not only the people of the United States, but 
for, for Texas. One thing's for sure is that the flight home gave me, uh, gave me a lot to think about. But anyhow, I'm once again privileged to be able to share all these little ventures in this, this whole crazy political process with you guys. And I think that's kind of cool. At the end of the day, we are embarking on something very, very serious, but we're also having our fun along the way. And that's a neat part to be able to share with you. So of course, as always, if you'd like to help support the campaign, I'll have the link in the descriptions, Brandon Herrera for Congress. Com. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to be doing a lot more videos like this of just the crazy hijinks that we get into on the campaign trail this next few months. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.